Greetings and welcome to the Morning Dew. This morning we believe that as this word comes to you, this will be the beginning, a new step towards your breakthrough. We see some of you struggling with certain things in your life that you really want to get rid of it but you are not able to. You find yourself in the same place again and again. You don't want to behave like that. You don't want to speak like that. You don't want to act like that. But very often you find that you are speaking the same way. You are acting the same way. You are behaving the same way. And you, you beat yourself for behaving and speaking like that. Let me read this verse for you. It is from John chapter 8, verse 31 to 33. It says, To the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. We are familiar with that verse. But let us read the next verse also. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been slaves of anyone. How can you say that we will be set free? Jesus came to set the captives free. That was one of his assignment. But in their mind, when he was talking to these people, in their mind, they were thinking, we were never slaves. We are not under any slavery right now. Then what is he talking about? This first step towards deliverance is the realization that you are under bondage. You are being captive either by the influence of a spirit or being captive to the old self that is not yet died. True freedom comes when we have that realization that yes, I need deliverance. Let's be from the influence of a spirit or from my old man that is still manifesting in my life. If you, if you are an Indian, you know that the British ruled our, our country for hundreds of years and they brought their culture into our system that now if you look at they left long back but even now we we dress like them we speak like them we drive like them many things that we use even now were once brought by these people who were ruling us it has become a part of our culture and we don't feel anything wrong about it even though they have left even though we are not under the slavery, nobody is ruling us, but still those things that they brought into our lives, a way of living, a way of dressing up, a way of eating, way of traveling, many things that they brought into our life has become a part of us. When we remain under a system for long enough, we become influenced by that and it becomes a part of us. We start behaving like that. We start doing the same even though we are delivered from that. This is what happens when we are under the influence of an evil spirit. This is exactly what happens when the old man has not died. Our old nature has not died. We become so familiar with a way of living under the captivity. We become so familiar with the way of thinking or attitude or habits of the old, old self that it doesn't prick us when we behave the old way. It doesn't, it doesn't create an alarm or generate an alarm within ourselves that why are you behaving like the old man? Because we get so used to that. Let me tell you something, it is very easy to deliver you from a demon, but it is not easy to deliver you from yourself, your old habit, your old man, your old nature. It is very difficult unless you take a step, unless you take a concrete effort to remove that, you will still be behaving the same way. You will still be talking the same way. You will still be doing things the old way. 
when god when you were born again you became a new creation and the old self should not be visible in you anymore that is the truth and that truth should set you free that truth should set you to seek yes there is a way new way that i can live there is a different lifestyle that i can live there is a different way i can behave there is a different way of living that is available to me but i should not be living like the old man anymore that realization itself will push you to seek more about how to live a life how to live the life that realization itself will push you to seek more about how can i live a victorious life how can i remove everything of the old man from myself and i will live like a child of god as he is expecting us to live today as you are listening to this word this is happening to you right now the first step towards your breakthrough you are being delivered from your old man you are being set free from that old nature of yourself by the grace of god that is flowing through this video this is your day of breakthrough in the name of jesus your much loved shalom